This is the TV News, the industry's only daily video report. Brought to you by American Ingenuity TV. For all of your electronic marketing and creative needs, American Ingenuity TV is simply the solution. Welcome to the TV News.TV for Wednesday, July 21st, and we begin with Comscore, which has put out its numbers for broadcast net entertainment fair viewing on the web for June. Leading the way, far and away, with views for the month was ABC. The ball had a ball in June, fueled by its top viewed online shows Wipeout and The Bachelorette. Trailing ABC substantially was CBS, which was led by The Young and the Restless, and The Late Show with David Letterman. Meanwhile, NBC's highest viewed show on the web for June was America's Got Talent. No numbers were supplied by Comscore for either Fox or the CW. Meanwhile, on the traditional broadcast TV front, The Bachelorette has just gone hyperlight in the ratings. In its last airing, The Bachelorette drew the most viewers since February of 2004 for any ABC series. And that, of course, excludes season or series finales. And in light of the recent malaprop gaffe by political news pundit Sarah Palin, oh, you didn't catch that? Okay, check it out. The president and his wife, you know, the first lady spoke at NAACP so recently, they have power in their words. They could repudiate what it is that this group is saying, yeah. and they could set the record st straight. Refudiate. Okay. Fox News executives are huddling, deciding if they want to repudiate Ms. Palin which of course means drastically reducing her screen time in an effort to drastically reduce embarrassment with any audience segment that has a semblance of higher education. By the way, repudiate is totally made up, just like refudiate, and just like the second half of this entire story. But Ms. Palin remains authentically lexicon challenged. The Programming Pulse is brought to you by Way Out There. Now's your chance to get the Tonight Show of the Paranormal. That's Way Out There. With the thermometer pinging the mid and high 90s all over the country, it looks like more of America will be thinking snow. That's because Comcast and the Ski Channel have entered into a carriage deal that will expand the Ski Channel's availability from 23 million to 43 million homes across the U.S. Track! And finally, on the premium channel programming front, Stars has apparently figured out a whole new set of ways to eviscerate people and to create all sorts of new cascades of blood and gore. So they're in the casting phase of the Spartacus prequel entitled Gods of the Arena. The Sand Sandal and Guts Fest is set to air in late 2011. Elvis has reportedly been found dead in the DCU's car parking lot. Yeah. Shut up, I think it's a bunch of bull Show us the ghost. What's that down there? Why did we notice it now? You're unbelievable. There was a UFO right there. It's coming right, coming right up. We're going to report the sighting we just had. Uh, we a residue? Yeah. You're unbelievable. No anal probes. What's the point of that? <laughs> <laughs> Future events and opportunities. Brought to you by Dude Walker. Get the best voice. Get the best price. Get Dude at DudeWalker.com. Hey, the TV news is this close to cracking 100,000 views of the only daily video newscast about the TV industry for the TV industry. Now is a great time to jump on board as a sponsor of the TV news. And to find out more, hit us with an email at advertise at the TV news TV. And don't forget that October is coming up fast, and that means the CTAM Summit. For more information, log on to ctam.com slash events. And that about does it for this edition of the TV News. We will be back tomorrow with a fresh edition, which will include the Sales, Marketing, and Trends Report. I'm Jeff Grimshaw. We thank you for watching. And as always, 
Go out and make it a good day. The TV News has been brought to you by American Ingenuity TV. For all of your electronic marketing and creative challenges, American Ingenuity TV is simply the solution.